What's going on guys, Leon Brat here and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to set up Nightbot for your Twitch channel. I'm also going to run you through quite a few different custom commands so you can add them to Nightbot and get started straight away. The more advanced custom Nightbot commands shown in this video will be in the description below so if you wanted to use them you're more than welcome to just go and copy and paste them into your own Nightbot. Just before we get started I do stream on Twitch every Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. If you do find value within this video then please do smash that thumbs up button as hard as you can. Subscribe down below as well for more content like this every single week. This is how to set up Nightbot for your Twitch channel. Let's go. For this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my second account, which is brat underscore bot. This isn't actually a bot. This is a second channel. I don't ever use it. And then for Nightbot, we're going to come to nightbot.tv forward slash login. Then we're just going to go login with Twitch. Authorize that there. And then we're in. So this is the screen that you'll see. This is your dashboard. Obviously, there's going to be like nothing here. There's going to be no stats or anything. That's absolutely fine. The next thing we're going to do is come up to the top right here and just click on join channel. Next steps. Ensure that you have modded Nightbot in the channel. If Nightbot is not a moderator, it cannot function properly. Head to your Twitch channel and type slash mod space Nightbot in the chat. You can just copy this here. So let's go copy. Then we can come over to Twitch and go to your channel. And then down here, all we're going to just do is paste that into here, which is slash mod space Nightbot and click enter. And now you can see up here, Bratbot granted moderator privileges to Nightbot. So we can just go ahead and close out of that now. Once you've connected everything, what I would do after that is actually go through all of these tabs on the left hand side because there's a lot of information here and just get yourself familiar with all of the different tabs and what they do. Once you're familiar with all of the tabs in Nightbot, I would then come down to the spam protection tab click on this one here and then what we're going to do is we're going to disable excess caps, excess emotes, links and excess symbols and we can do that by just clicking on disable here, disable here, disable here and disable here. The reason we have to disable these is because if anyone puts in any capital letters or spams any emotes or spams any symbols or puts any links in the chat, they will be timed out instantly from Nightbot. This is the first problem that everybody has when setting up Nightbot. So just get rid of these. The reason that we disable the links filter is because that means people can actually post links into the chat. I don't like anyone posting links to the chat except for clips. However, clips are a link, so you will need to have this on. Otherwise, they're just going to get timed out by Nightbot. So once you've done this and you've disabled these four, then the next thing we're going to do is come up to the commands tab just here. Click on that and then click on default. Then just have a little look through all of these commands. Some of these are enabled, some are disabled. Just familiarize yourself with all of these basically. And then to add your own custom commands, you can click on the custom button just here. And then you'll see it says showing zero entries. So here we go, custom commands. So how do we make a custom command? Well, it's very simple actually. All you need to do is come to the top right hand corner here, click on add command. This window is gonna pop up and what should the first command be say socials let's do socials so exclamation mark socials you do need to put the exclamation mark in there as well and then what you can do is just go here are my social links and then what i would do is add say for example youtube.com forward slash Leon Brat Music. So we could leave it like that, youtube.com forward slash Leon Brat Music. Then we could put in Twitter, Instagram, all of that lot as well. I would use a service called Linktree. I will just show you my Linktree quick. Actually, if I come over to Twitch and go to my main channel, we just put in down here, exclamation mark socials. If I actually spell socials correctly. There we go, all of the social links are there. And this is a Linktree link. So it's nice and clean. It's nice and clean. All I need to do is come over to here and I've got all of my different socials just here all on one link. I would definitely recommend using Linktree for all of your different links. It's just nice and easy, nice and clean and Nightbot doesn't take up too much room in the chat. The next option is user level and this is going to be either everyone, subscriber, regular, VIP, moderator or owner. With socials, you'd like to leave this as everyone. Cool down, five seconds. You can put this to whatever you want. If people are spamming it, then you can put it up. But five seconds is usually just fine. And then we can just click submit. So if you go back over to the second accounts channel and put in exclamation mark socials, 
There we go, here are my social links and it comes up with the link straight away. A little tip as well, if you're putting in YouTube links, I would highly recommend you put in a subscription link. So instead of people clicking on this link and it takes them straight to your YouTube channel, what I would do is go back into the command and you can click on the edit button just here. After your URL, you wanna put in question mark, sub, underscore, confirmation equals one, okay? And then we can submit that. Then if I go back onto Bratbot, put in socials again, this is the new link. So if I click on this link, you can see here, because we've put that extra little bit in the URL, this says confirm channel subscription. Are you sure you want to subscribe to Leon Brat Music? And then in that case, you would click, yes, I do want to do that. And it's nice and easy, it's just a one click thing for everyone that follows that link. Little hack there, all about the little hacks. So the next command you could have would be donate, exclamation mark, donate. And then in here, you would just put in your donation link. You could put in, you can donate here. And then your donation link would go just there. You can leave that on everyone as well. The next one is one we use a lot on the channel, which is a shout out command. So exclamation mark SO. It's just nice and easy for the mods to just go exclamation mark SO instead of going exclamation mark shout out every time. What you'd put in here is actually in the description of the video. I'm just gonna copy and paste this in because this is a long complex command, which is that. All of this will be in the description below if you wanted to use my exact shout out command. And then on the user level, we would put in here moderator and submit. If we go exclamation mark SO, and then at Leon Bratt. There we go. Nightbot has come up saying, please take a moment and follow Leon Bratt. Last seen playing music. Check out their channel at blah, 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 blah. This will give you the game that people were last playing. So if we do exclamation mark SO at Kitten It. There we go. It will say, please take a moment and follow Kitten It, last playing Apex Legends. Okay, so that's a nice little feature. That would be the shout out command. The next command could be how many followers you've got. So that would be command followers and that would be from everyone the user level there as well and let me just copy and paste this one in once again this will be in the description for you below the video copy that in there paste that in there sorry click on submit let's go and check that works followers <laughs> Bratbot has zero followers. That feels bad. I think I'm done with the video, guys. I think I'm done with the video. <laughs> okay, and the next one we're gonna do is maybe you'd like to have a sub count as well. So exclamation mark sub count. And we're just gonna copy and paste this one in as well. We can leave this on everyone. Click on submit and then let's go exclamation mark sub count. And then Nightbot will come up with saying zero people are currently subscribed. One last one that you might want to add is an exclamation mark uptime. Once again, we're gonna copy and paste this one in here and that could be from everyone as well. Let me just go submit, exclamation mark uptime. Uh, if we actually spelt it correctly, that'd be great. Exclamation mark uptime and obviously the stream's not live so there's not gonna be anything in there but that will say four hours, 36 minutes and 20, four seconds or something like whatever. Just a quick tip, if you want Nightbot to use your own custom emotes on your channel, then Nightbot has to be subscribed to your channel. And yes, you do have to gift a sub to Nightbot. If you're getting value within this video, then please do smash that like button below. Let's get back onto the PC and let's talk about some timers. So timers on Nightbot. If we come down to the timers tab just here, and what timers are is, is basically a message that pops up every, say, five minutes or 30 minutes, an hour, however long you set the timer to be, that's when that will come up. So for example, let's click on add top right and then we'll just put follow. And then the message could be, if you are enjoying the stream so far, don't forget to hit that follow button. And you could have this interval every, every five minutes, every 60 minutes, anywhere in between. It's very customizable with the with the minutes. So choose whichever one you want. When you are setting up timers for your Nightbot, please make sure that all of the intervals are a decent length. Don't have Nightbot sitting there spamming the chat the whole time. It's just the most annoying thing ever. The next one down is chat lines. So this is the minimum amount of chat lines measured in lines per five minutes required to activate the timer. So basically, this just means how many chat messages have been spoken. If you put this at 10 lines and only nine chat lines have been 
said in the chat, Nightbot will not put this in. It just won't put it in, even if it's gone past the 15 minute interval because you've set it to 10 chat lines. After the 10 chat lines, Nightbot will then go boop, and post that for you only if the interval has already been past the 15 minutes. So there we go. That's the follow one. Let's click submit on that. We can't really test this one out because this one's going to pop up after 15 minutes. And your timers could be anything really. They could be reminding people to follow, just showing people where they can find your YouTube or your socials. They could, like anything like that that you just want to remind people about and pop it in every 15 minutes or 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever, just to just to keep it going. So the next thing that I want to talk about is the help docs tab just here. If you click on this, this will take you through to Nightbot Docs. And this is where you can find all of the information to add custom commands to your liking. So if we just go to control panel, click on commands, then we can come down here and all of the stuff about custom commands is just here. Have a little read through this. There's quite a lot of information, but it really does help you out. To add a command from Twitch to Nightbot in the chat, say if one of your mods wanted to make it, they could just come to your channel and there's two ways of doing it. The first way is exclamation mark add com space and then we could do, I don't know, exclamation mark hello for that's going to be the command and then you just put the message. So I don't know, hello mate, very, very simple and then click enter and then that has been added successfully. So now if we just go exclamation mark hello and then Nightbot just goes, hello mate. And then you could also do exclamation mark commands, space, add, space, then the command name. So we could put by, for example, and then space, by mate. And that would go in. There we go. The command exclamation mark by is added successfully. Exclamation mark by to test. And we go by mate. So that is how we add commands from Twitch chat into Nightbot. This is very, very useful, these two ways of doing it. And there we go. That was how to set up Nightbot for your Twitch channel. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, then please do smash that thumbs up button as hard as you can and subscribe down below with the notification bell on to be notified of when my next video goes live. If you think I've missed anything in this video and you'd like to know a little bit more about a certain command, then drop me a comment in the comments box down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But until then, Take it easy, happy streaming, and I'll see you soon. Peace.